we finished our degree. Yay! To celebrate, we are going to Spain to do the Camino Inglés. Yeah, we fly to Coringa tomorrow, got our backpacks ready, got everything we possibly need, and then the day after, on, on the Tuesday morning, we hope to get started and hopefully have six, five or six days, we'll see, of walking. Um, I think it's 120 kilometres, and yeah, we'll see how we get on, but we haven't got much uh, previous walking experience under no. our belt, so. I haven't worn my boots either, which is apparently the biggest rookie area you can make. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how this pans out. On to our venture. Are you excited? I'm very excited. We've just got to the airport and we've got about three hours from our flight. So it basically means that our feet are already killing us, we're very hot, and it's just the beginning. Yeah, we'll start walking, just through the terminal. Let's go. And then we will be boarding the plane. Two hours flight. And then a little bus trip into town. Trying to get some food. into Carina, the airport, by plane, but turns out there was a too much cloud for the... A little bit of wind. Yeah, a little bit of wind, a little bit of cloud that have, has impeded us from getting straight there. <laughs> so we basically flew around for about 20 minutes and then decided that the best option would be... What the fuck's that? Oh, that's fine. Um, would be to get the coach from Santiago. We'll get to Which Santiago. Is where we're to anyway. Yeah. And... And then that means that getting a bus all the way to Carino again. So a bit of a detour. And then so we got on the bus straight away. We thought, yeah, doing well. Doing great, really. Um, and then we got off, uh, well, let's say eight kilometres away further from away from what where we, we thought we needed to be. And so now we're going to get a taxi. Yeah. Anyway, we arrived safe in Silent Hostel, had a few candies. And, well, it's 6.15 now. Ellie just had a shower. Oh, God, I'm <laughs> And we're ready, yeah, we're ready to have some breakfast and get on the road and get the 7.30 bus to Ferro in order to start our little journey. So we've literally just arrived at our stop. As you can see, the stone is just there. I know, it's beautiful and all its glory. Um, we've just been invited to a piece of what looks like <laughs> carrot cake in Vitathion on our SE. So, let the community begin. So, let's start this. <laughs> we have just walked about 16 kilometres. We, it took us a bit longer to get going than we thought, but we got our pilgrim passports from a cathedral yeah. and, and we managed to walk that 16 kilometres in about three and a bit hours. Three and a bit hours, yeah. So, so our original plan was to cut it off and um, stay in Neda tonight instead of Ponte de Ome. But as you can see in the background, we just passed Neda Alberg. We just passed Neda Alberg. Because it's only half two, so we just think, let's just power on through and carry on with. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna just try and carry on with our original plan of getting to Ponte de Me. We have about eight kilometres until we're in Ponte de Me. The last five have probably about five have been a real, real struggle. We didn't have much water. It was very, very hot. Very uphill. Tara hallucinated that she saw a squirrel. <laughs> it was just a moving bra. <laughs> Do not cry. And, um, and then we just saw the cafe, so we ran in and got some water. It was real. It was real. <laughs> <laughs> and we feel a bit rejuvenated, and yeah. now we are on the road. It's all downhill now, yay! Bye. But uphill. But like, up. Downhill, but up. Right. Mentally. <laughs> Now in Ponte Dume for the day. Well, um, we arrived last night about seven. Uh, yeah. Pretty was... pretty shattered from that whole 20, 27 kilometers. I think it's about twenty nine. And yeah, it pretty much killed us at the time. And so we went for dinner, and we just realised that we we needed a day to to chill out because I was limping. Ellie almost fainted. So it was just what's not ideal. We have plenty of time, so we're just gonna take it take it slow. Yeah. Exactly, and so Pontium is really nice. There's a little beach around the corner in Cabanas, so we could go down. There's loads of churches to see, yeah. and the weather. Hello. 
So you can see we're quite far up. We think we're about maybe 182 metres up and we've got to get to maybe a height of 200 metres today. Um, I know we said that we weren't going to try it, but the higher we get, the more we, we yeah. think it's feasible. We were just going to go up to the church to get a seal, a stamp. Um, but on route, we realised we're actually already walking the next step of the Camino. And yeah. Tara feels okay. I feel fine. So we're just thinking, let's yeah. just go to the Mino, Mino, and then we can literally take eight hours if we need to. We've got all day to do what we want, really. And you can see the background of Pontima is really cute at the it's moment. So it's nice. like glistening, glistening the little barcodes in the background. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. We're yet to see the biggest church in Ponte de Ume, but time will tell if we actually reach it. A far up day. <laughs> Um, Tara is just preparing some chorizo sandwiches for us. And pango. <laughs> and we have just walked about, um, I think about seven kilometres. Yeah. Uh, what's the time? It is just gone past one o'clock and we left at 11, I think. So I reckon they did two hours of seven kilometres. I think we've literally got about a kilometre and a half left before we get to... Uh, yeah, I think Mino. we're. I think we're in Mino now. We just need to like. We saw the bridge on the way down, so I, I reckon what, just a little bit of half an hour more. maybe. And so I think it's more downhill to go. Yeah. The whole way with a guy that we met at the end. I think it's we could see him at the end of our last video. Yeah. Come behind us. He was really lovely. Yeah. We just spoke. I don't know. We just spoke about his Camino experiences because he's done it a few times and yeah. just about and how interesting. interesting. He was really nice and. I think he made us power on, not power on through, but it was, yeah, it was good company. Yeah, it was good company. It was nice to walk with someone else, no offense. Um, <laughs> but it um, does get a bit tiresome. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to eat our sandwiches. We can see the sea. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm ready to get to meet you. I'm glad to see the sea. It's been a relief. But by the looks of things, we're just entering a little tiny village now, which could be that of Nino. We so hope so. We're on the descent. Yes. By the looks of things. Although we've actually realised that we prefer going up than going down, because going down really hurts the knees. Yeah. But never mind. Hopefully, we will be there soon with a beer in hand and hopefully a shower. Yeah. And yeah, we uh, made the fatal error of walking a bit too far. Even though we're on track, we walked too far and um, took the time around. A few too many hills. And get back to the centre, which we can like, We had an inning win when we were walking. Um, now we're about, we'd say, a good five minutes walking from our hostel maximum. And yeah. So we don't really know how we get into the hostel, so it says we have to ring the police to come let us in. So we don't know. And we've done our washing, so we've got our washing hanging up there. And if you can see the stuff that we've got hanging on the line over there. Uh, and the view is so nice. It's gonna be really nice waking up from that, waking up to that tomorrow morning. And yeah, we're just relaxing now for a few hours, probably gonna go for dinner in about three hours, um, and then early start tomorrow morning earlier than the last days. The last days we haven't been leaving till like 11, so this will definitely be a better day tomorrow. We have like a garden and everything. And this hostel is very nice. It's very well equipped. It's pretty cool that we just got here and it's completely open. There's no, there was no one here to attend us. You just can walk in. I think it's great that the council actually trust pilgrims enough to just leave things open. I feel like that would never happen in England. No, it's not, it would probably be just trashed yeah. by the sounds. We have to ring someone and they're going to come and like come later so we can get our sale and pay and stuff. But it's very good. Yeah, um, more peregrinos have arrived. So we've got three three Spanish, one American lady, and two French now. And we'll see who else gets on the way. We might start off doing um, up just the to Botanzos and then see how we feel because we might also have a long time anyway. So we might do up to. Pescado? Pescado. Pescado? I think it's, I'm not sure what it's called, but that one. And then it means that. Presedo. Presedo, that's the one. <laughs> um, and then 
that means that our longest day will be cut down by quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. How many blisters? Um, I've got one blister. My feet hurt. Well, I've only got one blister, and I'd rather have painful feet than be covered yeah. in blisters. So. I've got one in between my big toe and my other one, but I'll try and Apart push. From that, I need to head a little bit. We went to the pharmacy and we got some special cooling muscular gel. Yeah, thing. try and sort us out. Um, We're hoping it will do the job. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Again. Again. I was say. Got some friends going for dinner. Yep. Dinner last night and the meal was pretty pretty chunga. So we we feeling a little bit worse for wear this morning, especially with the early morning we had and an alarm that seemed like the rainforest. Well, Forty five minutes of an alarm. Marseille's best tunes. So <laughs> we'll leave it at that. And so we're on our way to Mina now, what we basically backed on ourselves today. So we're hoping to get to La Barosa within the next like half an hour hopefully. And then head to Ma Betantos, have some lunch there and then head on to Percedo, um, which hopefully won't kill us too much. <laughs> we're walking <laughs> sideways. So, so, that, for you. so that you can see the view. Although you probably can't even see it. Um, but we've left Mina, we left Lynn because she lost a hat and we don't wait for anyone. Um, no mercy. <laughs> and so we had a nice breakfast, feeling a bit so so. Tara's going to hold it because she's better. Um, it's okay. And yeah, so we're just here. Kind of, it is kind of a beach, the latter end of a beach. I'll do a spin round for you so you can see it all. It's really lovely. <laughs> there you go, you've got a nice 360. Very nice. Apparently, around here there's some otters, so we're just on the lookout. Is that, is that just something like a log over there that's brown? I think it's just a brown log. Yeah. It's a bit like a wolf. Yeah. I don't know, but it's really nice, the sun is shining, it's still early, it's only, it's coming up to nine. You can see so, the sun rising. Yeah. Um, so en route to Betantos. I don't the last you'll see of the... Atlantic. <laughs> Out of the, of the Atlantic. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, Mediterranean is like Greece and... Yeah, no, but obviously Barcelona goes in the Mediterranean. And I was like, is it still Mediterranean? I don't know. I think it's Atlantic, because that's what we Atlantic. share. Tara's just going for a pee in the bush that we thought was quite a secluded place <laughs> and a taxi just comes up <laughs> and winds down his window and hands me his taxi card. I think he probably saw her as well. We have just gone past a town called Paderes. Um, a woman just told us we're apparently only cuatro kilometres from Betanthos, which is our place, yeah, our, uh, where we're going to stop for some lunch. Um, but we're just hoping to come across a fountain, fountain soon. Uh, we're going to stop and have a bit of last night's leftovers yeah. and have a little snack. Um, I don't know if you saw the plates from last night, but they were they were massive. You I think we could have had two or three in between us. Yeah, it was ridiculous. It was really good food. Good company. We are well en route. It's not too bad. No. Tara's over her traumatic experience. Um, <laughs> it was so funny oh. for me. <laughs> um, it was funny now, but at the time it was not. not I don't know if I said, but the taxi actually stalled because we were on a hill and it was just. Just. No, then he rolled down the window to yeah. give Ellie a card. I thought he was going to tell me to tell her to stop peeing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm sure we'll give a little update when we next stop, before we find the fountain, which apparently has deliciously, what was it? Deliciously drinkable water. Deliciously drinkable oh, water. And cold. and cold. See you there. We're walking down a really steep bit. And with our dodgy knees. It's quite hard. See Tara. <laughs> Tara made me go in front. Oh shit. This is the worst bit, it's fine. Just keep your knees bent and like walk into it. 
up. Get on the bomb. No, don't. It's not that hard. Keep looking. Like yeah, it's just this little bit. I'll oh, walk in that bit, maybe. Oh. We're near Betanthos, though. We're about, what'd you say, one kilometre away? Yeah, not far. Good times. What are you doing? <laughs> Recording it. Oh, why? Should I talk in? How are you feeling? Why are you looking at me weird? Hi. Sorry, we just crossed over this bridge and basically a bit the most way after Patanthos and we're on our way to Placeo now. Uh, we're just having a little toilet break because we had a lot to drink at lunch. I hear you probably can't see it, but that's just on the way down now. Mm. And, and yeah, the, the climb up was pretty bad. I think we just spent the last hour or so like just going up steep hills like, like that probably. Um, and it wasn't very, very pleasant. So we're hoping to get to a lavadero in the next 20 minutes and just sit because our legs and feet are a new level of, of killing us. And yeah, as you can see, we're in the forest and we'll see you when we get a little bit closer. We're just in a bus shelter, a very, very low bus shelter, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <coughs> we missed the lavadero because, I don't know, we just... It wasn't particularly on route. It wasn't on route, um, so we missed it. So we're just in the bus stop having some water and some cherries which are really nice and the next place we can get water is by a church which is about two kilometers less than two kilometers so we're just gonna have a little rest and then that will be our next pit stop that'll be about halfway i think because it's about mm -hmm. seven kilometers uh, maybe a little bit over halfway Finally! Hi again! Right, so we've reached Presedo and um, the journey was quite, I think it was the hardest journey we've had so far. Yeah, it took us a long time. We got here about quarter to seven, I think. So we left at nine this morning and we only got here just before seven. <laughs> we were the last ones to arrive. Yeah, in fact, we did take about what, quite a long time for lunch. We took about two hours, breaks. but I don't think we But still, I, I think we, 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 we would have struggled if we hadn't have done that. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the American lady managed to get here at five o'clock, so she definitely beat us and everyone else maybe an hour and a half an hour before us. So, yeah. yeah. It was good. Everyone else is here that was in the um, hostel with us last night, plus two American guys. But yeah. when we got here, the, the three Spanish guys started taking, well not taking the piss, but they we, started joking yeah. with us saying that there wasn't any beds and that we had to sleep on the grass. No, was, was it was not what we away. It was not what we needed to hear at that point, but they were yeah. just joking. Um, and we were, so, yeah. let, we were let down once again by lack of water. We had yeah, to like, resort to. We've, we've noticed that the taps around here aren't very like aren't very well equipped, and they haven't like lit them quite very often. You need to take. Um, and so both taps we stopped at the lavadero. First one we couldn't find. I don't think it was like on the route. And the other one, well, it just ba didn't work. Barely, it was just dripping, so we weren't going to wait around for half an hour for it and to fill up our bottles. Just, none of the churches are open. It's yeah, good to know. We're going to get some a good budget meal again. Yeah, yeah. there'll be like, there'll be about ten of us maybe going for dinner if everyone comes. Yeah, and yeah, 
yeah, it's just funny how we arrived so grumpy and then as soon as we saw everyone, we were really happy again. It's like, we're a little family. Um, we hate dogs. Yeah, yeah, the dogs haven't been very nice today. There was oh. one incident where this woman was walking her two dogs, one on a lead and one was just like, it was just a cute little dog. Wouldn't have thought anything of it. And then it started running towards us and we thought, oh, okay. a nice dog for once. And then it started barking and yapping at us. No, and no, and then the woman was like, oh, it's used to people, but no, she, she would it like. Wasn't, it wasn't, but yeah. we just, we, we're used to it now. We just, whenever we see a dog and it starts barking, we just freeze. Make no eye contact and yeah. move on. We've got a new routine. Yeah, it I've works very well. Cow over there. <laughs> Do you want to see the cow? <laughs> oh, it's two. Okay, I don't. I don't think I can see it. No, no. Um, anyway, yeah. but yeah, we're we're tired. Got a bit more of a blister. My knee is absolutely yeah. Killing my me. feet were at the edge of like near death today. Yeah, it was hard. It was really. But everyone has said it as well. Like. That Even was the worst, it seems like the worst bit so far. Yeah, but who knows what tomorrow is going to be like. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow won't be too terrible. We know there's a, a climb at the beginning, but after that it seems to, to level out and the rest of the Camino seems to be pretty, pretty flat. Yeah. Um, Shao is really good here. Really good. Hot, it was just so yeah. nice. You can tell that not many people stop at this set place because yeah. it's just, I don't know. Just but really the only thing is we're all sharing, it's 10 of us sharing one room. Yeah. And it smells already, and you can imagine. We got, we got because we came last. We got the short store. We got the crappy beds. We're on the top bunk. I know. The last thing so. we wanted today was to sleep on the top bunk. Yeah. We thought we're like, not by the door, so we can't leave early. Well, we can leave early, but it's just awkward. I think we might put our bags outside. Yeah, let's go there. Um. Yeah. So yeah, but that's for the time being. Yeah. And then hopefully tomorrow it's only seventeen k. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yes, only. It's hard, and we it's hope to. Bad. We hope to get that over and done with by about four o'clock. Arrived before seven o'clock today. Yeah, right. there will be no late late evening tomorrow. No. Okay, there you are. Oi. Morning. So it's about seven fifteen in the morning. We just left the hostel in the hostel. The hostel in the background. Um, and on our way to Broomer today, which is a I think it's fourteen miles. Kilometers. Kilometers. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we're hoping to get there quite early anyway. Uh, we're like this is a very very big hill about three kilometers in but we're hoping this early start will be good today it's really foggy um, didn't think the sun would go out or come out but um, it's nice and chilled which would be good for this morning but we can see the sun about to, to rise now we just stopped off at a little bar for a little bit of juice and to have a bit of a rest because we are now heading up a three kilometer ascent up to 350 meters so we need a little bit of energy but it's probably going to be quite hard so here we go we'll see you on the other side hi We've just reached the top of what we think is the, the 3k, which was, I don't know if you can see downwards, but it was basically an, uh, one, one hell of an ascent. About 300, well, I reckon we're probably about 325 metres. Yeah, so we got pretty high in the space of maybe like half an hour or so, um, but it wasn't easy. We had to take a few stops and we weren't, well, I wasn't feeling too great. And it was, yeah, we're just hoping that as uh, the majority of it done because, it, yeah, it wasn't pleasant. It wasn't good. But we knew it was, we knew it was coming. And that's probably like the hardest ascent that we're going to have to do. Yeah, we've got another little the... bit later on, but it's only maybe like 10, 15 minutes compared to that. So, that was the worst and it's gone. Yeah. So we should power on We through. are thanking our shells. Yes. Yeah, you can see the shell in the background. So this means we've got to turn that way. That way. Right. Yeah, and then we'll continue on and hopefully get to a tiny little village called Visigno. Visigno. Visigno, something like that, and then we'll stop there. Yeah. We're so happy. So we left here today. I genuinely thought we were about this far along the way, considering we have to go all the way down there. But we're not. We're here. We did it. So now, I, how long do you reckon that is? We've hardly got... Oh, it's so good. Yay! So we could just, there's like a little bit shaded seating area here. Oh, good. What time is it? It is... Uh, <laughs> just gone half ten? What? what? Oh my god, that's amazing. Yay! 
Thank Early you. morning does the job. Oh yeah. which was amazing the hosteleros were so welcoming and couldn't have helped us out more if they tried and it was an old uh, authentic uh, pilgrim hospital so that was had a really nice vibe to it and we had a really nice menu brought to us by the local bar because we're in the middle of nowhere um, me and Tara both ordered red wine with our meal and we got given a litre bottle of red wine which was always handy <laughs> and it was just a really funny night um, and now we are setting up to Siguero which is 24 kilometres but reasonably what's the word? flat, flat. Um, walking at the moment, Lynn is in front of us and um, yeah, see how it goes. Oh wait, sunset. I don't think they can see that. Maybe there's trees in the way. Yeah, it's really nice. Does it say? Does it actually say it on it? No way! Oh my god. So the whole time we've been recording, there's been no distance on it, and this is what it's meant to look like. So you actually know where you're going? But someone took them all off, like, in, in past Caminos, and yeah, so now we know our distances. Oh, hey. So you know earlier on we missed the, the sunrise. Hopefully you can see it now in the background. It's, like, nice and frosty over the trees, which is so beautiful, and the road ahead of us. Yeah, there you go.
saying that today we've walked to 13k. Um, it's been quite I'm nice and pleasant. It, There's not been really many hills really or anything. So yeah, just just here we're gonna have a lot of bocadillo and coffee, and we'll legit, and then do the last 13, is it 13k, 11k, and then to our private albergue. <laughs> Vale, nosotros somos paraguas. Sí. Paraguas. Sí. Paraguas. Tenemos algo para... Tenemos el poncho. Nosotros somos mexicanos. Chaqueta, el poncho, siempre. Sí. Yo poncho, tres años venía. Ya Pero con paraguas, como... No lo he Vale. Poncho, los nuevos, sin estrenar. Ya lo dije... Bueno, ya no hace falta. Digo, si me cae una tormenta... Él sí lo usa. No, la ducha. No llueve, se lo pone el último día en la ducha. We reckon about 20, 21k of 24. 24, we should be stopping at 22, where the next bus stop is. Today's walk's been very, very gentle on us. And uh, yeah, it hasn't been much like many hills or anything. It's just been being forest, forest, forest walking. Forest. Yeah, we had quite a few dark bogs, <laughs> dogs bark at us. <laughs> um, and it's been nice and cloudy compared to usual. Yeah, so I think nice. that's why we've been quite quick. So what we left this morning at half seven, and oh, now it's two o'clock. So and we yeah. had about an hour's break for lunch as well. So we're doing well for time really, and we hope to get to the hostel maybe like an hour and a bit maybe. but yeah the path behind us which has been probably been like a two it's probably at the end of it a four four kilometer trail yeah. but uh yeah and as you can see the the americanas are in front of us yeah. just checking on and then we think the canaries are behind us they keep they keep managing to catch us up today which today's been... the first date that we've actually coincided with anyone from um the albergue um No, sí, por la mañana lo hay que sacar, ¿sabes por qué? Porque, mira, esto se cuelga aquí, vale. este otro se cuelga aquí, se saca toda una bola sí. para comprobar que no queda nada en la cama, que no quedan vale. prendas o... y mirar por debajo, vale. nada más. Es un albergue turístico, no es de peregrinos. Allí, por ejemplo, hay una habitación de matrimonio que está esa parejita, que es preciosa la habitación. Luego os enseño las fotos, vale. es muy bonita, mira. Las camas tienen todas, mira, todo es del corte inglés, ¿ves? Mira. Casa actual, importado por Hipercon, ¿ves? Madrid. Bueno, todas tienen el número. Vale. Por ejemplo, mira, tres. Y así no se cruzan las toallas. Vale. ¿eh? No se equivoca nadie, mira. Todas tienen, todas tienen. Cinco, todas tienen número. Vale. ¿vale? Igual que si hubiera. Rosso. Oh, Rosso was the name of the industrial park. Oh, is okay. it? Oh. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. No, 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 porque uh, en el papel si guero y aquí o oh, Rosso. Maybe. No, 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 es más, más lejos. Yo no me di cuenta. Estaba buscando cigüeros, ¿no? No, no, no. Por bueno, yo. al cruzar, al cruzar, ¿no? al cruzar el río, sí. Oroso, sí. on the other side, cigüero on this side. Ah. Ah. No, but I didn't... Uh, eh, eh, Manuel, chao. Mi amor, la verdad, ah. estoy echando de menos. Toda la mañana, uh, Guardia Civil, ¿dónde está María? Policía Nacional, ¿dónde? Ahora, eh, tenemos suerte 
<laughs> it doesn't hurt, you can't feel it. You literally can't feel anything. It just looks weird. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> Desde ese entonces ya haciendo camino. ¿Cuántos caminos ha hecho? En español, ¿Qué hace con la copa? Eso no quita, ¿no? Ya no me gusta cuando lo va a dar. Ya me We will uh, sing in English and you drink. Okay. Ready? 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 We like to drink with Mary because Mary is our mate. And when we drink with Mary, we dance it all in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey! Y Philly. Le falta Philly. for about an hour or so, yeah. an hour or so now, it's about half eight in the morning, on our route to Santiago, 16 kilometres, and yeah, we're basically ready to see the cathedral, that's be basically an almost a week that we're waiting for now. Um, last night was, was hilarious, It was I'm the sure. best night of the cathedral. Uh, it's, it's, been a, the hostel it's been a whirlwind. Was, the hostel was just hilarious. Just everything about it, like, I don't think. It's so funny anything compares no. so yeah was yeah it was good we tried local wine and then yeah. we had that came out of a chinese bowl yeah it was very strange yeah then we had some food and then we tried we got um a chupito of oruga, oruga. the one that i was talking about ages ago but he told us that you take it if you want to be cold yeah um no be yeah. hot Oh yeah, if you want, you want to be hot. really hot. Um, it was disgusting. But we were playing drinking games. So funny. And it was so funny. Go straight to the cathedral and hopefully see the smoking swing. Yeah, but it's like, the mass is at 12 and you're not allowed in with your little bag. Yeah, so, so we're yeah. not sure if we'll have enough time, but yeah. we'll, we'll try. We shall try. Okay.
Does not even hurt. <laughs> I do. I'm just Finally back. I know it's Thursday, but uh, we arrived to Santiago on on Sunday, and we got Compostela's. We did the hundred and almost almost twenty kilometers, um, and we just had the best time yeah. in Santiago. It was just so different to every, any other holiday that we had before. Um, we managed to walk as well, which was which is good. Um, and just in general, I think we learn so much just even walking because you meet so many people that you never would in, in, in your daily life. Yeah, they were very inspiring people. Most of them are a lot older than us, but they imparted wisdom on us. Yeah, it was like having a little family. Yeah. Kind of like the grandparents, the uncles and the parents as well. Yeah, we were really lucky. Um, it was a really good experience and harder than we thought, but it was, it was good. And I'm really glad that we did it. And I think it was good, a good little trip to take to reflect on the last four years yeah although it was a shame when we finally got to Santiago that um, the cathedral's under construction also get to hug St James as well yeah that was an interesting experience yeah it's a bit weird yeah um but yeah on to the next Camino and wherever life takes us yeah